Hello. Welcome to Body Pump Live. My name is Lauren and I'm going to take you through a weights workout today. So if you're joining me at home, great to have you here. Now, a few things you're going to need. You're going to need a barbell. If you don't have a barbell, that's okay. What you can do is use weights or dumbbells. That's totally cool. But you want to have some weights that you can interchange as we go throughout the class. Okay. Now, if you do have any injuries, medical conditions, anything of that nature, please do make sure you have medical clearance from your general practitioner before you commence a workout. Are we ready to go? Feeling good? I'm feeling good. Bend your knees, pick up your barbell, overhand grip on the bar, feet under hips, Take a nice big roll through the shoulders, blades down into spine, deadlift slow, find the knees, slow rise, a little quicker, down, two, rise, two, easy does it, push your button hips back, bar finds the knees, let's go for a single dead row, to the knees, belly, Knees and rise. Tip, row, stand tall. Try and draw the elbows to the back of the room. This time, go down, hold for three. Down, pull three, two, one. One more time. All right, feeling good. Feeling a little bit warmer. Back to our deadlift, two, two. Slow tip. Feel that length and stretch in the back of the body. Length through the hamstrings. One more time. Upright row. Quick hold. Slow down. So you want your bar to stop at lower chest. Elbows out high and wide. One more time. We're about to hit the high pull. Bend the knees. Drive the bar high. We lift and set. So heels pop, drive the hips forward and up. Good. Wrists stay strong. Let's go for a clean press. Catch the bar. Catch, press, catch and set. Bend and absorb the impact on the way down. All right, one more time. Bar up, onto the back. Right leg forward to lunge. Slow down. Two nice and smooth so elbows are under the bar chest is tall dropping both legs down at 90 degrees singles go feeling a little bit more heat for the legs oh we want to get them warm two more step your feet outside just hips and squat so butt sits back and down, chest is tall, just ease into the work. Let's go a little deeper, full range, full depth. We've got four more, three, hello ten, all right one more, all right feet come in, bars up, back to deadlift, two. Ah, oh, heart rate's up now. Keep that bar close along the legs. Let's go that upright row. Quick hold, up stop, slow down. So elbows are high, they go wide. Find that bar at that lower chest. One more time. Let's go the high pull. Let's lift the heels, drive the bar. Now get familiar with this move, because you're going to see it again later when we get to our backtrack, and it's a good one. One more. Clean press. Catch the bar. Drop. Drive. Sit. Get under fast. One more. Bar up onto back. Left leg forward to lunge. Down two. Oh, ease down, ease up. Make sure you're going straight down. No weight forward of the legs. Singles. So you don't want to be pushing pressure into that front knee. Just drop straight down. 
in four, three. You ready for our squat? Step out wide, sink the butt and go. Try and get a little deeper. Butt finds knee level every squat. Keep going. We have four more, three, two, last one, and done. All right, bring your feet in, bring your bars off. Ooh, give yourselves a quick shake out. We're going to move on now into our squat track. So we're going to increase the weight on the bar. If you are new to body pump, you're going to aim to double your warm-up weight, but if you are a regular, anywhere from two to four times your warm-up weight goes on that bar. All right, so once you have your weight set, let's clean and press it, bring it up onto the meaty part of your back. Let's go. All right, so starting feet outside hips, squat two. So we start in mid-stance, chest is tall, bring the elbows under the bar and just get the feel for the range. All right, down, slow, down, down, hold. Slow rise to the top, up, up, hold. So we got our pause squats. Both pause at the bottom and the top of the range. Come again, smooth. So smooth it out, top to bottom. Try and find your range for the first set. And we make it bigger as we go along. One, two, two, one. Back to the pause squats. Down, down, hold. Slow to the top. Up, up, stop. So don't think of it as a rest at the top or the bottom. It's an active move. An active hold where you're still under load at both ends of the movement. Good. Push your heels to the floor. Goes down, down, hold. Rise up. Down in three. Three, two, one. All right, try and catch your breath because you're going to need a lot of air when we hit the big stuff. Keep coming. Three, two, one. Big push out of the heels. Knees track the toes. Heel toe wider. Chest up. Easy single. All right, you want to go deep? Full range. Come on, get lower. Lower if you can. Keep coming. Four more. Three. Two. Pull it back. Slow down. Oh, I know what's coming. Do you know what's coming? Big combo. Come on up. Two big singles. Drop. Down fast. Hold. Slow rise. Come again. Single, single. Drop, stop. Hold. Push to the top. And again. Down, freeze. Oh, it's getting harder. So in that wider stance, you can feel that we've not just got the quads working, we've now got those glutes firing up. Keep it coming. Two to come. How's it feeling? Are you feeling a little breathless? Me too. Down hold. Woo! Hold it. Heel toe wider. Wide, wide stance. Single time. Let's go again. All right, who we got with us today? Hey, Lib. 
Woo. Nice to see you, girlfriend. Let's go lower. Full range. Come on. Hit your depth. So now we're in maximum muscle recruitment. In that wide, wide stance, get side glutes in. Come on. Stay with me. Slow it down. Four. Now this is where you build some pressure for the legs. You catch your breath and you get ready to unleash. Combination, two singles, drop. Down fast, hold. Slow rise, and again. Single, single, drop, hold. Come on, so I want you to come up under your own steam. Don't bounce from the bottom to the top. Dig the heels to the floor. Really engage those glutes. Tell hold. Come on. We're almost there. So close. Woo. Come on, stay with me. Work to your finish. Work for recovery. One more time. Single, single. Down, hold. Slow down. Four, three, two, stop. Whoa. Bring your feet in. Pop your bars off. Whoa. Give yourselves a quick shake out. A little loosen out. Feeling good? Heart rate's pumping. We're now going to move on into our chest workout. So, regulars, you're going to take around about a third of the weight off your bar. Newbies, I'm going to suggest that you stay with about your warm-up weight. Now, set your bar. If you don't have a bar, that's totally cool. You can just stick with some plates, two plates for the workout, or you're with me on the bar. Now, just one thing to look out for before we start. Make sure you have a bit of room behind your bench. And we've got our walking push-ups. So, hands will be wide. You start in the middle. We press through the centre, and then we move across to the side in that push-up. So, making sure that as you come to the side, your chest comes down in line with that top elbow. Sounds good? All right, let's do it. So, bars or plates in. Let's lay back. Shoulders away from ears, brace your belly. Let's start with a three, one, two, one, and press. Nice and easy. We're just gonna find range and just feel that tempo. Two, two, easy down. One, two. Now, are you a foot tapper like me? Can't help it. Love hearing the beats and tapping the feet with it. Down slow. Four, three, two, one. Slow to the top. Now try to get that bar coming down to lower chest. Elbows out wide. Let's go back to three, one. Three, two, one. Press rise. So we want strong wrists here. Knuckles to the roof. Bellies braced, backs to benches, combo. Drop fast, hold. Slow to the top, two singles. Drop fast and hold, stop. Slow to the top. All right, a couple more. Now just check that we're stopping our elbows in line with the bench. We're not going any lower because we want to keep the focus in the chest and keep it out of your back. Slow down, 4-4. Four, four. Take your time. Try and squeeze through the chest as you drive that bar away. Create a dividing line right down the centre. 3-1, three, 3-2, one. Three, one. big press. So drive that bar high into the roof. Bar stops just before it touches the chest. Chop fast and hold. Stop. Slow rise. Two singles. All right, you've got the combo. You know where we're going. Keep that lower back pressing into the bench. 
especially as the work starts to get hard and the bar feels heavy. Stay strong through your centre and that'll help. Last one. All right, sitting up, push up time. Bars out the way, come behind your bench. Hands out wide, slow press. Four, three, two, one. Now you've got a couple of choices here. You could be on your knees, you could be on your toes. Either way is good. If you need another alternative, you can leave your hips high. It's up to you. Are you ready to get on the move? One push up in the middle. One press, walk right. One hand on, one off. One press, walk center. Down, now walk left. So you wanna try and get the chest in line with the top elbow. So that's the one on the bench. And if you want to, you can of course work on the floor. You don't need to have the bench, but the bench is gonna make it just that little more challenging. All right, back to the middle and hold. Roll it out. Feeling good? Another set. Hands wide. Slow. I feel it's too late. Two, two. It's not too late to join in. So you choose, you'll work out your way. Toes, knees, hips high. Are you ready to walk it? One push up in the middle. Walk right. One press, walk center. So take your whole body with you. Leave nothing behind. Come on. If you're not on your toes yet, before we hit the finish, try just one on your toes. All right, in the middle, five singles, that's it. Come on. So if you're not on your toes, try one. Down hold. Woo. Well done. Woo. Feeling good. Open the chest, nice big stretch. Oh, we'll keep it moving, hey? So, we're into our back workout. I want you to bring back in your barbell. My new guys, you're gonna stay with your chest weight. Regulars, go your regular back weight, so more weight, maybe even a touch more, okay? Reason being that this particular back track, you're only gonna have the bar going above your head for a very short amount of time, okay? Eight total clean and presses, that's it. So, if you do wanna go heavy, Now's the time. You will also need to have a single larger plate, okay? So keep that on hand. And one move to look out for, you know I said in the warm-up we're gonna have those high pulls coming back. Well, this is what they are, right? So drive, hips forward and up, elbows out wide. All right, let's do this. So feet under hips. Take a nice big juicy shoulder roll, blades down into spine. Slow deadlift, four. Down two. Easy tip, easy rise. So now's a good time while it's slow. Catch your breath from that chest track, hey? Tip forward from the hips. Bar should trace the legs. Bar stays close always. Down three, three, two, one. Keep the shoulders pulled back and try and really target the back body. Glutes, back and hammies, single row, knees, belly. So can you pull your elbows straight to the back of the room? Tip, row. Good. So we make it a triple row. Stay, hold three. Now isolate your body. Stillness. The bar comes to you, not your body to the bar. All right, one more. We're into a combo. One high pull, one deadlift. High pull, 
lift, up, dead lift. So, hips, drive forward and up. Drive that bar. Stop at lower chest. Keep it coming. Hips. So you want to lift the heels. Squeeze the calves. One more time. We're going up. Clean and press. One catch. One dead row. One clean press. Drop. Drive. Row. Come again. So you get underneath your bar and explode. One more. All right. Bars go down. Grab your large plate. Rack it at the collarbone. Squat press. So, feet just outside hips. Elbows under the plate. We push and pull the plate. Push and pull. Drive and catch. Four, three, two. Last one. Catch it. Whew. All right, place down. Shake it off. We got another round. All right, let's do it. Bars back in. Deadlift, two. Take this time, fill your lungs. One more. Single row. Can you hear that breathlessness? Heart rate's up. So we've had one spike for the heart. Bit of that cardio kick. We gear up for another. Triple row. Stay, hold three, two, one. And again, where are those elbows? Pull back. Feel that squeeze between the shoulder blades. One more. Deadlift, two, two. One more. We're gonna hit that high pull combo. One high, one low. Good. Get under, tip forward. So lower chest, hinge forward. Extend through your ankles, knees and hips as you drive that bar high. Clean and press. One row. So get up, get under. Come again, drop, drive, last time, Woo. Oh, goodness, bars down, grab your single plate, rack it, squat, press, now let's get that heart rate up for the last time, spike it, cardio kick, pull, push, pull, Push, come on. In five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Well done. Plates down. Loosen off. Little spiral twist. Elbows to thighs. Just around through the back. Keep your head above your heart. We don't want all the blood rushing to your head. <laughs> Come on up. Feels good, hey? All right, so we're now gonna move on back into leg work. So for this one, we're gonna keep a barbell. If you have one, great. If not, a plate is fantastic for this one. Anyway, so for everyone, you will need a plate later on. So medium to a larger plate, barbells at the ready. And just, Clear yourself of any excess weights or equipment that you don't need. Actually, keep that. Any extra weights and equipment you don't need. So, like a step. Won't need that now. All right, so, single.
single plate close by. Bars at the ready. Let's do it. So, bars up onto the back. We're going to start with our right leg forward. Lunge time. Long lunge out the back. Chest tall. Hips are square to front. Let's go slow. In four, three, two, one. All the way to the top. Down three. Ah. All right, you're going to like this one. Bit of a dancing song. But keep your hips still. I know you want to swing them, especially you, Tan. Singles, let's go. So you see here, we've got both legs on their own tracks, right? Imagine your legs are on train tracks. Separate lines, so they don't cross. Down two. Be smooth. So you've got your legs set to 90 degrees apiece. Keeping pressure through the front heel. Body remains tall. Working vertically. Change the rhythm. Down fast hold. Drop stop. Slow rise. Come again. Down hold. Slow to the top. And again. Feels good, right? One more time. Singles on the beat. Straight through. That's it. Now front heel, press to the floor. You're not going to lose balance because you're going to use that core brace, stabilize your body. Triple pulse baseline in three, two, one, press rise. Now try not to bounce this pulse in the bottom. So don't bounce to the top. Emphasize that downward phase goes down, down, down. Last one. Shake it off. Ready for second side. Left leg forward, long lunge back. Come slow, in four. So check those legs for me. On their tracks, train tracks, yeah? Down three. So where are those legs? If I give you side profile, I want you to see that we're at 90 degree angles. Back knee drops down just off the floor. Single straight through. So avoid this happening. We don't want to go forward and back. We want to go straight down, straight up. So that means driving that front heel through the floor. Keep going. All right. Down two. Feels good. Starting to feel a little more pressure in those quads. Yow. All right, one more. Chop fast and hold. Down stop. Slow rise. Come again. Drop hold. Push to the top. Oh, goodness. One more. Back to our singles. Full depth. Come on. How low can you go? Don't touch the ground, but get just above. One inch away. Hit a triple in the base. We go for three, two, one, press rise. Oh, one more time. That's it. Wow. Bars come off. Get them out the way. We need that single plate. So medium to large. Rack the plate at the collarbone, feet outside the hips. We're going to lunge to squat combo. Left leg back, one lunge, one front squat. Other leg back, one lunge, front squat. Now keep your elbows underneath your plate. So that's going to remind you to keep beautiful upper body posture. Come again. Lunge and squat. Now, of course, it's totally fine if you want to stick with body weight throughout this because we've got a long way to go yet. Check this. Double lunge, one squat. So this is where we start to increase the intensity. A little bit more pressure for those legs. Try and stay low and loaded. Keep going. Stay down. Press rise. One, two, center and press. 
All right, got the hang of it? Watch me for this one. We double everything. Double lunge, double squat. So we stay low. Ah, oh, there's no coming up between. So essentially, no recovery. Woo, take him in. Oh, and if you need to, ditch the plate. Body weight's a great option. I'd rather you stay in the reps and the range with body weight than lose your form and keep the plate. Keep it coming. Yo! I don't know about you, but my legs are cooking. Last one. And stop. Wow. Give your legs a quick stretch and shake. Felt that. Hey, good news is there's no more leg work today. So let's move into some shoulders. We're going to keep our bar. We're going to adjust the weight. So if you've still got your back weight on the bar, you'll need to change that, lower it, bring it back to warm-up weight. Regulars, you may want to have a little bit more. I'll leave that up to you. So barbell and two light plates okay two matching plates the same size yep that's what you need keep them close and we're going to start with our barbell are you ready let's do it bend your knees pick up the bar overhand grip previous one yeah that's it so feet under hips big roll through the shoulders set the blades down into your back pockets and we're ready to move. Starting with an upright row, two, two. We come, one, two, two, and one. Single time, top to bottom. Find lower chest, let the elbows lead the way. So make two big points out the sides. Two and two, come again. One, two, two, one, smooth. Feels good, right? We got a new move coming. The slow hang clean, come with me, slow upright. One, two, three, four, five, six, drop, catch, slow down. We do that again. We come, one, two, three, four, five, six, drop, catch, all the way down. Bar to chin, split stance, we press up. All right, press the bar high, elbow stay forward, isolate, work the shoulders. We add the legs, push press comes now. We squat and drive. Keep going. Two more. Back to our hang clean. Slowly. Drop, catch, all the way down. And again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Drop, all the way back down. Bar to chin, split, press. Now isolate through the upper body. We are pre-fatiguing the shoulders. And we're gonna hit them from every possible angle. Use the legs, push, press, drive, catch. Four more. Two. Last one. Bars down. All right. Come to the floor. We need our plates. Right leg forward, side raise. And again, up and down, rotators, plates up, open out, close them down, come back towards the hips, come again, up, open, so you want to see that your plates remain forward of your face, come again, one more, we lean forward, Red outs, singles. 
top to bottom. Now elbows come out wide. Get that squeeze in the back body. Shoulder blades, pinch in the middle. Triple pulse in the top. Hold three, two, one, and down. Go again. So you want that pulse to remain in the top range. Stay high. One more time. You ready for some push-ups? Plates go down. Straight in. Hands are wider than shoulders. Once again, you get your chest down to elbow level. Come on. Five. Four. Three. Two. Down hold. Come on up. Back in with the plates. Other leg forward. Side raise. Two. So now you know the moves. You're going to see them again. Make them bigger, make them better. Rotator. Oh, there's that foot tap again. When the work gets hard, the taps come out. Two more. Last one. Lean forward, red outs. Go. Lean forward. So try to get ribs to thigh. Long, flat body. Elbows up. Triple pulse. Top range. Three, two, one, and down. Two to come. Woo! All right, last one. Are you ready for those push-ups? Final finisher. Knees or toes. Let's go. In. Come on. Get your butts down. Five to finish. Four to finish. Down hold. Well done. Wow. Good work, guys. We're going to come straight to the floor. Time for core. What you need, one single plate, a smaller to a larger plate, and we are off. If you want to stay with body weight, you can, of course, do that too. Let's do it. Come lay down. Plate to hairline. Elbows in. All right. Starting with a C crunch. Two for two. Comes in. Two. And down. Two again. Let's go single time, top to bottom, up and in. All right, so tuck your elbows in tight. Let's slow it down for four. All the way back down. So think about sliding your rib cage towards your hips. Single time. You want your entire head, neck and shoulders getting off the floor. So leave nothing behind. Every time you crunch, you try and squeeze all the air out of your middle. Ever seen a concertina? You're squeezing in to make the sound. The sound is you going, ooh, that hurts. Last one, come to the top, pulses. Eight, seven, stay up high. Plate stays to hairline, knees stay over hips. We extend the legs, extend the plate, and we pulse. So keep your plate above the shoulders. In four, three, we're going single leg hip bridge. Check this, front leg lifts and lower. So just rest your plate on your chest, or you can chuck it on the floor. Either way is good. Drive your heel through the ground as you lift your leg towards the roof. So we're trying to work and warm through the posterior chain. Triple, three, two, one. So this is a great move, especially if you have imbalances in your body, like one side of your body is stronger than the other. This is where we can figure out which one it is and we work on it. Keep it coming. Because having stronger glutes is gonna help you and all your everyday activity. Couple more. Whew. Last one. 
All right, come on down. Plates down. Roll over. We're going to sit up or hover. Fists together, elbows under shoulders. Shoulders away from ears. We start with an alternating foot tap. Front leg, out and in. Back leg. So try and stabilize the hips here. No bouncing around. Go double time. Go front, together and back. Now if you want to stay on your knees, that's cool. You can just lift your knee from the floor. But if you want a little more, try this. Lift your leg. Squeeze at the base of the butt as you take your legs towards the corner. So I don't want bouncing bottoms. We lift, come back in. <laughs> if you need to go back to your knees, do that. In four, three, two, one, and hold. Well done. Come down. We're now just going to sit in our child's pose. Reach your hands forward. Just enjoy the stretch. Try and reach through the fingers. Stretch out further. Now bring your right leg forward. Hurdler stretch. Lean forward. Hands out wide. Bring that same leg forward. Square through the hips, press through. Have a nice deep stretch for the hip flexor. Sitting back, hamstring stretch. Chest comes down to front thigh. Come on to both knees. Hands forward, palms in. Open out through the upper back. Try to press those shoulder blades out. Bring the other leg forward, left leg, into hurdler stretch. Hands out wide, chest down to front thigh. Go deeper if you can. Come on up, bring that same leg forward, square the hips. Try and drop deeper through that back hip. Hamstring stretch. Chest comes down to front thigh. Come to standing. Quad stretch. Knees in close. Try and bring them in right together. That was a big workout. Not bad for 45 minutes, hey? Other side. Bring the knees close. Find your balance. If you wobble, doesn't matter. Take one foot behind, reach up, side bend. Other side, step behind, lift up and over. Open the chest. And just take your hands behind your back. Pull the shoulders back and down. And roll it out. That is us done. Thank you for joining me at home. I hope you enjoyed today's live session. Any questions, you should pop them in the feedback. Like the page, say hello, and I hope to see you again next time. Take care.
See you later.